Morning folks, hope everyone is well. I just thought I'd do another recap of my January efforts. Um, my cup of coffee is not too far away. Let's just have a little talk through it and I'll put the jams at the end of this video. Let me just remind myself, and, and, and I think I said in the previous video, it's kind of fun to look back on these because they're, they're sort of, you produce them almost so quickly because it's a daily thing, January. You kind of you do sort of, you know, it's easy to forget what you did and then you look back and you go, oh yeah, I did that thing. So it's, it's, so it's, it's fun for me to, to look back on these, but I'll just give you guys a little explanation of what's going on. January 15, I was playing my Volca FM2 that now lives in a cigar box because <laughs> I, I, I found this lying around and I thought that looks cool. Um, and I do believe, yeah, so I'm playing the Volca FM2 along with the Strymon Night Sky as an effect and it just it just sounds heavenly so the the Volga fm2 sounds really 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 nice like i'm um, un unbelievable for um you know a tiny a tiny tiny little synth um just it, it sounds really good and with the strymon night si night sky just sounds really nice um day after that january 16 um kind of a similar deal to the previous day except using the modal sculpt this is i think these are these 3d printed these little synthesizers oh if i can get the case off um super portable you can power these from a usb pack or you know or or, or batteries um you know they they are poly polyphonic synthesizers um I think you know I don't I don't reach this too much um well you know you'd, you'd think something like pigments is 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 a strong contender for taking over from this but this is super super portable um and with the Strymon Night Sky again because it's just sat there now um this 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 <laughs> this sounded super nice and pl I was playing both the modal um the sculpt and the Volca FM just using the little kind of kind of keyboards that, that come on them and with a little bit of practice i find actually they're not too bad to play them like that january 17 almost like a similar deal i was using the good old vulcan modular i do i do like this little machine just for its pure sheer sort of weirdness that, that you, you can get out of this um and this this i this is rarely patched anything more complicated than, than than what's going on there which is probably set up as a drone and i think there i'm just playing it and then putting some ebode guitar over the top super super simple january 18 ah yes january 18 was playing the Korg Monologue. Um, I think I think this is a pretty good synth. However, I think the presets on it. Well, what should I say? The, the presets don't resonate with me. Um, I don't really like any of the presets. So, I think if if you have one of these or you're thinking of getting, you know, really nice small footprint mono synth. That is, you know, it is, is sort of has a digital element, so it'll just, you know, it'll calibrate in about 10 seconds when you turn it on and boom, you're in tune. That's that's cool. Um, but if you're thinking about one of these, picking up one of these secondhand, think to yourself, I'll program in my own patches, um, which is super simple and quick, you know, because there's, there's not too much going on, but there's, you know, there's enough stuff that you can play with to, to, to have sort of good, sort of nice sounding analog sounding monosynth patches on the next day yeah back again with the with the the monologue except so so one of the nice things with the monologue is you can feed it um an external signal so i think on january 19 i was putting it setting up a drone on the volca modular feeding that in to the monologue so then you've got access to the filter on on the synth um and you know if you set the vulcan modular to drone you've essentially got a, like another voice super cool you've not got you've not got polyphony but obviously if you set 
you know, your drone to a D and you can just, you know, you can play over that. So you're sort of faking duophony. Um, very, very cool. January 20, again, with a similar setup. Um, I might have confused my 19s and my 20s. But again, 19 and 20, they're they're all um, they're all um, mon monologue stuff with something going into them. I think one of them I was playing with the um, Volca drum. This is new for me. This is an unbelievable bit of kit. This is like as you know as a little synthesizer, and it's geared towards percussive sounds. This is super, super deep, you know. Um, the complexity of this little beast belies its small footprint. Um, you could spend weeks just getting to, get to grips with this. Uh, really interesting sounding percussion synthesizer. Um, and I was, I was either 19 or 20, I was playing with that. Um, 21, again, more percussion action from the drum. Um, and then I was feeding my guitar signal into the monologue. Um, so then I'm processing my guitar and having a kind of choppy tremolo kind of effect, which was, yeah, it was, you know, wasn't great, but it was uh, just, it, you know, it gives an example of how you can use the monologue uh, to process external audio in a sort of interesting way. Right, that's all I was going to say for the jams there at the end. The only other thing to say is I am now on Mastodon. Um, and if you want to follow me there, I am at Abominable, at Guitar Rodeo. Um, I'll put that link, address, whatever whatever it is in the Fediverse um, in the description. Um, yeah, I've not been on... Well, the, the person behind Abominable has not really done a tweet for a very long time. Mastodon seems a bit more chilled out <laughs> and nice. So, anyway, that's the end of the video. Cheers, folks. Bye. Thank you.